Once you guys got another video on how to automatically log in to Windows without a password. Now, if you've got a password set up on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 system, like I have here, and you want to automatically log in without actually typing that password in, I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. So what we want to do here is I'm going to quickly uh, just log off the system here to show you that we do have a password on here. So let me just sign out here. And we go to sign in and you'll see the login screen with the password here. If you don't want to be typing this out every single time, this video is for you. So first off, what we want to do here is we want to go down to the search and we're going to be typing inside the search box reg edit. This will open up the registry editor. And what we need to do here is we need to navigate to this location that you can see on the screen. So we're going to go H key local machine. Then we're going to go to software, then head down to where it says Microsoft here. Once we hit Microsoft, open this up and then navigate down to Windows NT. Once we find Windows NT, we're going to click on this one, open this up as well. And you should see current version. Click on this one and open it up. Once we go here, what we're going to do is going to come all the way down to where it says passwordless. So we're going to come all the way down here. So just scroll all the way down and there it is right there. Open this up. You should see device. This is the device that we're using. So what we're going to do is open this up here and you should see here device passwordless build version. And it says two. open this box up, click on it. And we need to change the value from two to zero. So go ahead and highlight it and just change it to zero here. And then we can apply this. And what this will do is it will basically tell the machine to ignore the password here. So I'm going to click OK here and we've changed that value. So close off the registry editor here and you will need to restart the PC. Now it's not set up just yet. You will still get the password, but I'll show you after this step. So we need to reboot the PC once more. And once we get back to the login screen, put your password in for the very last time here. It would help if I spelt it right. So let's just go ahead here. There we go. And we're in. And what we need to do now is we're going to go down to the run box here. So on the start button, right click it and select run. So we're going to right click this one here. And this is the same for Windows 11. Inside the open box, what you want to do here is you want to type inside here net PLWIS, just like so. Then click OK. And you should see this box open up right here. This is the user accounts box. You should now see there's a check mark right here. You should see the check mark in where it says users must enter a username and password to use this computer. If we uncheck this and then click apply, it's going to ask us to put in our password for that account. So let's go ahead and put our password in here. And we're going to re enter that password by confirming the password we just put in above. Click OK here. Click OK again. And basically, once that's done, you now don't have to enter your password every time you restart the PC. Our password is still enabled. So let's quickly put this to the test by restarting. And we'll see whether that goes straight into Windows without putting our password in. Now, don't worry if you're using a Windows 11 system because you can use this method on Windows 11 as well. And you can see it's getting to the login screen and it should bypass the actual password and it should get us to the desktop. So there we go, we're at the desktop now and we didn't have to enter our password. Now, you may be wondering whether the password has been disabled. If we go to control panel and go to user accounts here, just check the user accounts, you will see that the password is still enabled on this account. We've told it to check our password, which we've put in already, and it's gonna check that and basically put us straight to the desktop. So you can see it's still enabled here. And that's it. That's basically it for this video. Just a quick short video uh, for this one. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you find these videos useful. If you do, then give them a thumbs up. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. And I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.